are not my mother stars Hazel Dupay as Char in a North Dublin housing estate. Char's mother goes missing. When she returns, Char is determined to uncover the truth of her disappearance and unearth the dark secrets of her family. This is written and directed by Kate Dolan and it hit theaters in VOD back in March. It's another one of those low budget, moody, atmospheric horrors with a somewhat bare bones approach that we've been getting quite often over the last few years. But it's one that definitely takes on a much more character driven angle. A lot of successful horror movies tend to be the ones where the film uses its genre elements to explore a lot more grounded, relatable topics. And you can add You Are Not My Mother to the list of those films, even if it's not exactly the smoothest ride. Char lives both with her mother and her nearly disabled grandmother, and while just a teenager, she's easily the most responsible one in the house, having to goad her mother Angela into just getting out of bed. Once the plot kicks in and we see the now returned and changed Angela, the journey Char goes on is used for her to face head on the years of neglect she experienced in this depressing household. All the while, she also has to endure torment from other girls at school, only finding friendship in one girl named Suzanne, who knows something's clearly wrong as well, but doesn't know what exactly. The film uses folklore elements to explore explore the details of Char's past in an effectively eerie way, with the focus on touching upon Char's emotional state as we dig deeper into her family's history it makes for a solid enough character drama. The film has the aesthetic of your typical slow burning moody horror movie, but considering it gives us plenty to work with when exploring the characters, it didn't exactly feel slow, so I appreciated that. Though I wouldn't call the film scary necessarily, and it plays out more like a drama with some mystery and horror elements thrown in there, rather than a traditional horror movie. No one ensures there's something substantial within the narrative to go hand in hand with its style, and while I would have liked to have it tapped into its horror elements a little more, I still look forward to what she explores next with the genre. Only things I'll say are that the dour tone can feel like a bit much at times with it being one of those films where you need to be in the right mood for it as you rarely feel like anything other than depressed. On top of the fact that it's very clear we're about to uncover something sinister when it comes to Angela. So the way it's played up as some big mystery at times didn't necessarily work for me, as we know something's coming and it deflates some, though not all, of the tension. Once we get past some of that awkward setup, it makes for a solid finale, even if it doesn't do much else for your mood. But despite its faults, You Are Not My Mother is an effective enough horror movie that still places a nice emphasis on story and character. While its tone is one that you have to be in the right mood for, if you're into these sort of movies, you do get a solid enough character drama, mixed in with some decent genre thrills to make for a compelling enough watch. You Are Not My Mother gets a 6.5 out of 10. So let me know, did you see You Are Not My Mother or are you planning to see it and what were your thoughts? Did you connect with the story? Did you find it all that scary? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it. And for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone and keep having fun with film.